For the next few days, we're going to look at how people adapt to environments around the world. Natural resources are different in different parts of the world. This can impact the foods people eat. The following assignment will allow you to begin to explore some of the different foods people eat around the world. Please follow these directions exactly. If you need to pause or review, go ahead. The first thing you're going to need to do is open Canvas. Please pause the video until you've done that. Once you're in Canvas, you're going to head over to Modules. Then go down to MB Unit 2, Human Geography. And what you're looking for now is right here, Adaptation, Recipes from Around the World. And you'll click on that. Once you have this open, it might look a little bit different from mine, but you're going to want to put it into edit mode so that you can type into it. Once you have that done, we'll move on to the next step. Now you're going to head back over to Canvas, but we're going to do something a little bit different. You're going to find Culturegrams, which is right here, and you're going to click on that. When you do, this will come up. Go ahead and click on it. Then, this will come up. And you are going to want to click on World Edition. Then, this will come up. And you can see we have a map of the world with all seven continents on it. And where you want to go next is right here, where it says Recipes. If we zoom in a little bit, you'll be able to see it right here. That will bring you to this page, and you can see there's the alphabet. This is every country on Earth arranged alphabetically, so you can click on these letters, check out the different countries of the world, they are all there. Now at this point, after you've kind of cruised around a little bit, you're going to need to pick one country. It doesn't matter what country it is, but it can't be the United States. Hmm, these all look pretty interesting. Hmm, but I think I am going to pick the country of Singapore. So when you click on this, you can see that these are recipes for different dishes that they eat in the country of Singapore. So I'm kind of looking through these and this one looks pretty neat. Laksa. Hmm. Singapore satay. And I'm reading these recipes and finding something that I think sounds pretty tasty. When I find one that I think sounds pretty good, I'm going to highlight the name of the food. And then I'm going to open up a Google tab and paste that food into Google. Click Images. And there is the food right there. Now I'm going to head back over to the assignment and I'm going to need to enter some information. So right where it says country, I picked the country of Singapore, as you can see. And the food that I picked was called, looks like roti prata. I might not be pronouncing that right, but that's what it looks like to me. So now I'll go back to my assignment and put roti prata. You got to make sure and spell it right. Then I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going to go back to 
to my images and find an image that looks really tasty. Mmm. They all look pretty good, I think. How about this one? Now, this is a little bit tricky because if I right click and then click open image in new tab, it might be blocked. It might not be. If it's blocked for you, you need to find another image. If it isn't blocked, right here, I am going to copy image, or you could save the image. I'm going to go back to my assignment, and I'm going to paste it right in there. Now, in this space, you're going to have to put why you'd like to try this food. And that's going to be individual, completely up to you. I'm going to say that this needs to be at least two complete sentences, but you can certainly have more. Then you'll go back to culture grams, highlight, copy your entire recipe. Go back to the assignment and paste it. Now, there is an option when you are pasting text that you've highlighted from a web page or something. I'm not sure if it will work on your Chromebook, but I want you to test it. Usually, to paste, you hit Control V, but I want you guys to try to hit Control Shift V. If you hit Control Shift V, it might paste it a little bit neater like this, but either one is okay. Once you have that done for one country, you need two, three, four, five, six more. Once you've done that, once those are all complete, then, and you may not get to this today, I want you to share this information with your classmates by actually getting up and moving around the room and showing them the different options.